another House hearing room today, the investigation continued into the cause of this country's worst airline disaster, the crash of a DC-10 last month in Chicago that killed 273 people. Today, investigators described what happened in the cockpit during the 31 seconds that American Airlines Flight 191 was in the air. Bill Zimmerman has the story. Severely damaged as it was when it lost its left engine and pylon on takeoff last May 25th, American Flight 191 might still have been saved if the pilot had only known what had happened. The National Transportation Safety Board now believes that when the plane's engine came ripping over the top of the wing, it severed the three hydraulic lines inside the wing and caused the six outboard slats on the leading edge of the wing to retract. Normally, the slats would have remained extended through the climb period, giving the wing additional lift. But as he took off, the pilot knew only that he had lost the power of an engine. He knew nothing of the damage. An electrical circuit that would have advised him of that had also been knocked out. So the pilot continued to climb. As he did, the left wing, aerodynamically changed now and with no slat support, began to drop and the plane rolled. There no longer was any hope. Today, safety board witnesses told a House subcommittee that had the pilot realized the extent of the damage, he would have lowered the nose of the plane and increased power, and Flight 191 might have been saved. Based on the preliminary data that we have from the wind tunnel tests, it would seem uh, probable that uh, he would have had controllability over the uh, roll moment of the aircraft. Is there any way that the pilot would know about the condition of the left slat re having retracted? There's no reasonable expectation to think he would. Would you see any reason, Bill? I do not believe he'd know that the uh, left slats had come in, no. The investigation of the crash is continuing, but at this point, the safety board believes the pilot acted properly on the information he received that it was the loss of his information system, the electrical power loss, that led to this. Bill Zimmerman, ABC News, Washington. ABC's Jules Bergman reports that top officials of the FAA will fly to the West Coast tonight to hold meetings on what caused the crash of Flight 191. And if they decide it was maintenance and not basic design, DC-10s in this country may fly again as early as the end of the week. Most foreign airlines are already getting their DC-10s back in the air, one of the first flights took off last night from Amsterdam to Mallorca, with the passengers drinking a champagne toast to the trip. Swiss Air and other European carriers today began flying their DC-10s, which still cannot be used for flights to this country. The Airline Passengers Association calls the return of DC-10 flights overseas an irresponsible action unprecedented in aviation history.